So here's an example for the limit comparison test, sort of emphasizing, you know, what do we do when the comparison test doesn't work? And so we have this, this series that looks fairly similar to one we've seen before. Uh, we go, okay, yeah, this, this looks about the same as one over n to the fourth, right? And this thing is a convergent P series. And the reason we know that is because P is 4, and that's greater than 1. Uh, always a good reminder to say, how come this thing does converge? If I'm going to make a claim like that, we verify it, calling out what type it is, and also right, what the actual P value is. Um, so then we say, great, if we tried to use a comparison, uh, the only issue with this is that Right, the, the denominator here, n to the fourth minus six, the denominator is smaller than this, meaning the fraction as a whole is going to be larger. Again, we have to be careful about certain values of n here. So, for example, when n is one, this picks up a negative value. So it's not actually going to be true. Uh, but later on, even when n is something like two, this ends up being larger than this. So we've got to be careful about our, our indices here. Um, but we also know that we can start this, this series just a little bit later. We can start it at 2 instead of 1. It won't change our convergence at all. So um, in general, this is true. I will make that note. n is at least 2, sure. Um, the problem is we have something that gives us a convergent series, but it's the smaller series. So we can't really claim anything about a series that's, that's larger than that. So what do we do instead? We can't use a comparison test, right? So this, this inequality is a bit of a problem. So we say, okay, that's off the board. So direct comparison's no good. But I really would like to use this series. It's nice. It's simple. Um, surely the fact that I'm subtracting 6 versus adding 6 can't make a huge difference, right? So what do we do? That's where we use the limit comparison test. Right? So that says to let rho equal the limit as n goes to infinity of the ratio of these two. Now, it doesn't matter. This is the nice thing. The order on these doesn't matter. So put them in an order that you know, works to your advantage, right? We're dividing one by the other. So uh, for my liking, I'd like that n to the fourth minus six to end up on top and that n to the fourth to end up on the bottom. It doesn't really matter, but uh, personally, I think this, this is a little bit better. Um, okay. So the reason it doesn't matter what order we go in is we're just looking for behavior, right? So we're looking for this to be uh, finite and positive. So if it converges, um, we're going to get something finite. It's basically saying that um, these two series act the same, maybe differing by some constant multiplier. So anyway, let's take a look at the limit. So... We can do a few things with this. We've got polynomials on the top and the bottom, so we can look at the ratio of the leading terms. That's one way to do it. Uh, the other way to do this, which is why I said, you know, maybe putting this on the top and this on the bottom, I can split up the fraction, right? So n to the fourth over n to the fourth, that's one, minus six over n to the fourth. So I can split this up, right? Well, as n gets really large, this fraction 6 over n to the fourth gets really small, so this limit's going to go to 1. So 1 is definitely positive, but also it's finite. All right, so finite and positive, that means that these two series, right, the two that we're looking at, have the same behavior. Right? They don't necessarily go to the same place, just the same behavior. But we already called out that 1 over n to the 4th, that series converges. So we can say, okay, great. Then the one we started with, 1 over n to the 4th minus 6, also converges. Right? By the limit comparison test, so if we didn't already call it out up here saying, hey, I'm going to use this, uh, then we should certainly claim that down here. Um, one thing I will note is uh, this 
doesn't have the issue of indexing, right? As long as these two index in the same uh, from the same spot, we're in good shape. So with the comparison, remember I had said one over n to the fourth uh, and one over n to the fourth minus six, that the inequality we got, this inequality where um, unfortunately our original series was larger, uh, that was only true for n greater than or equal to two, right? That would have been a problem we would have to sort out for the comparison test. But because the limit comparison test is, is saying, I don't really care about those early values for n, then this really isn't a problem. But it is something worth pointing out, worth noting that if I was going to try to use a comparison test, I do have to be mindful of situations like that.